All right, so last time I was here, it didn't work out so well. Uh, so I got the family here. Maura thinks she knows the way. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna let her lead. Uh, we're gonna let her show us where the camping section is. Uh, you can see the Jeep behind me, we're starting. Uh, we got a little bit of sun left. Hopefully we can get there in time to go scope it out and get back. My pack is a lot, lot lighter this time around. So uh, let's start on the trail here. All right, so we're on the trail walking. Uh, there's fresh snow. It must have snowed here last night because it's a lot deeper. And I remember we're already tired from trudging in the snow, but that's part of winter camping, you know, you gotta, you gotta deal with the snow, you gotta deal with the wet. Uh, there's just a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. That's weird. But yeah, it's, we're enjoying ourselves. Dog's having a blast. And I will keep you posted. Oh. All right, so oh, this trail's kicking our butt with the uh, snow and the cold and the distance and it's just hilly so everything straight down straight up it's uh it's intense but we're making it we're making do this uh trail it goes back into the woods and then back out by the highway and then that's when it goes, you can see, I don't know if you can pick that up. We're going way up there. <laughs> so, down and up and down and up. But it's hard getting my camera, you know. I'm used to just hiking and going trying to get it all on film and not having the camera bounce around and stuff it's it just adds to the challenge but we're doing good can't wait to show you guys the spot if we ever find it this is all brand new to all of us that's why we're letting Maura lead the way and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as we find some more adventures so Caroline what do you think of winter hiking I don't like it. <laughs> Why not? Because my boots keep slipping and leave it more I know. And uh, I don't like the cold anyways. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of snow and keep like falling into it. Yeah. But leave it. Yeah, it's not for everyone. Yeah. But uh, we're going to keep trucking along. We got to get all the way out there. And then we got to turn around and come all the way back, so. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. But it's all part of the adventure. Yeah. Uh, but I think break time's over. It's time to get back to trucking along. Leave it. We're officially on the North Country Trail. So the trail I'm on is kind of like a intersector uh, to the North Country Trail. And so the last time I was here, I tried staying on uh, the trail I was on. But from the footage here, you can see it didn't turn out so well. 
Uh, but now we're going to take the long way, which I mentioned in that clip. And uh, the long way, you have to go on part of the North Country Trail. And that's what we're doing right now. And then this will loop around and get back to where I want to be. So it's beautiful out here. Nice white winter day. Uh, the dog is having a blast. So, oh, we have not found camp yet. <laughs> Puffy wants in on the videoing. Uh, we haven't found camp yet. Nope. So, and we got about 45 minutes of sun left. So we have to make a executive decision. Do we want to keep hiking, find what we're looking for, and hike back in what could be the dark? Or do we say enough is enough and turn around and go back and uh, have enough sunlight to get all the way back. So what do you what do you want to do? Um, I mean we're pretty close according to the maps. We're pretty close to where it says there's camp. I'd really hate for us to waste another day out here. So I think we should keep going. As much as I'm not <laughs> loving this trail. <laughs> yeah. This is a hard trail. Uh, there's nothing flat about this trail. There's nothing straight about this trail. I mean, even right now, if you were to look, the trail is right here and it stops right there. I don't know, you know, it keeps up and down and up and down and up and down. It seems like every few yards, you're either going up or you're going down and it's steep. It's very steep. And so, it's, it would suck having to come out here again. I think we're gonna press on. We're gonna risk the night hiking. I got a pack full of gear. Worst case scenario, we'll be fine. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna press on. And when we get to where we're going, I'll jump back on and I'll show you the area. And then we'll do a little celebration because this has been a hard, hard trip. Uh, the first trip was insane. I, I hiked a long way. This hike is getting to be pretty difficult, but uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna find it. So keep watching and I'll show you once we get there. All right, so we found it. We Finally. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of hiking, lots and lots of hiking. Uh, the dog is resting. She, uh, she loves it out here. This is her second hike and uh, she, she loves it. I cheated though, you have to have a leash on, you have to have your dog on a leash on both the trails that we were on. And so I took paracord and I wrapped it around Caroline's waist. I used a uh, slippery half hitch. And then I took a, uh, I tied the other end to uh, Mora. And so she's got 25 feet. So she's on a leash though. It's considered a leash and it's hands free because it's tied around Caroline's waist. It's a little trick to the trade. Have both hands for pets. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we found the camp. So here's the camp. Campground that way. And then there's a clearing over here as well. 
but as you can see it's thick thick brush so there's no hammock camping so yeah there's no hammock camping it's too thick uh, but you can set up a tent you can easily set up a tent it's good for tent camping and uh, yeah it's I'm excited to get all here and do an overnighter and I'm I really appreciate you guys coming along with me you know I if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be out here I would just wait for the spring you know and go to my normal places but I really want to show you guys what I love to do I love coming out into these woods I love hiking out uh, I love just being out in the middle of nowhere where there's nobody else, you know. And uh, you guys motivate me to do that. And I really appreciate that because the when the state land that I used to go on got cut down, uh, I really it really bummed me out. You know, I talk about it a lot and I was really bummed and I really got excited to find new land and a new place where I can hike out and do whatever I want. You know, I can go and I can find deadfall and make fires and do what I love to do and it's all because you guys motivated me to get out here and do it you know I got to get those videos done you guys hold me accountable every Thursday and Sunday I have to have a video and I try to make the best videos I can and I really can't do that from inside my house I have to get out here I have to set up I have to find the land I have to find the area and you guys are the ones that motivate me to do that and I appreciate you all so much and I hope you all understand that you can even ask Caroline I talk about it all the time yeah. about how I need to get out and camp more and bring you guys with me and show you guys how fun and enjoyable this really is. So with that being said, make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Uh, you guys have shared so much knowledge, so many kind words with me. Uh, I really do love being on YouTube. I love the interaction we get. I love being able to learn and grow together and uh, I can't wait to hear you guys in that comment section. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread your knowledge and your ideas to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.